Hello, Jonathan Kemp here at the University of St Andrews and Kemp Strings. So today we're going to open Reaper and have a go making a video uh, that can go on YouTube or whatever which uh, is going to combine uh, lots of singers to make a virtual choir of portrait mode videos put into a grid so that you end up with a landscape of video export. Okay, so this is a virtual choir but I've created a backing track and the backing track goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Rock the wind in the clear day's dawn. And okay, so that one, two, three, four clap is to synchronize so everyone can clap along when they're recording their part, and that helps with synchronization. So here are the recordings which have been done. Um, I did them all, but in principle you can get uh, your choir to do this with lots of different members and stuff. Drag them into Reaper and then go to separate tracks. So we dragged in all these different uh, recordings. Um, normally the uh, grid snaps on um, and that means that things move about in a blocky way. If you click on the background here and move one of these, you can move it left and right to try and synchronize it, but it's very blocky at the moment. So we're going to go to here and switch off snap enabled. So this magnet sign is now unlit and then we can fine tune things. So we're wanting to line up all these recordings. So this is uh, fast forwarding the video showing you uh, lining up the recordings which uh, takes a little bit of time if we don't fast forward uh, what's happening here. So using the zoom control and then dragging them in. Okay, so now we can see what the whole thing sounds like. One, two, three, four. So those were simultaneous claps. One, two, three. Rock the wind in the clear day's dawn. Okay, so that's our choir all making noise. Um, what does it look like if we actually bring up the video? Uh, so go to view at the top of the screen and then video. And now we can see nothing at the moment. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Rock the wind. In. So we can just see the one uh, recording on the video window at the moment. So how do we get lots of videos up? So if you highlight the top of the screen, the top track, and go to track, insert new track, we're going to put a video processor into this uh, new track here. It's not got any content, uh, but we're going to go to FX. And then once we clicked on FX, we can select all plugins, video processor, OK. Now this is where we're going to have code. I'll show you some code. If we go to the no preset area, you can select from different presets, including combined two by two input matrix. Uh, the minute we select that, it um, will in due course give us uh, instead of just one video, this should be a two by two grid of videos. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Rock the wind. So these are different uh, recordings that we've got. Um, once all the videos are there, uh, you can see these are different uh, recordings uh, that could potentially be different choir members if you are organized like that. Okay, so that's. Um, what the 2x2 two two input matrix does, but we really want to get lots of recordings, in fact all the recordings on the screen. So this is where the handy code comes in. This uh, code uh, I've modified to make a version that puts as many on as you want. If you go to uh, the YouTube description, you'll see the code and you can copy and paste it. Uh, for the moment I've got this uh, code already in the Reaper forum, that's beside the point, but we're going to go back to Reaper and I've copied that code. Um, you can copy it from the YouTube description. Now I'm going to click and drag and just paste Command V on Mac or Control V on Windows. So that's pasted the new code. <clears throat> now Command S to save on Mac or Control S on Windows. That's the code updated. And now you can see all of the recordings are in a grid. Uh, so far they're in portrait mode because uh, Reaper has noticed that uh, the first video there is in portrait mode and it's decided that everything should be portrait mode and we really want to change that. So we go to 
file. Uh, so in Reaper we go to File, Project Settings, and then we have a preferred video size. Let's type in 120, sorry, 1920 by 1080, and then OK. And that's going to force it to be standard um, high definition video. And now we've got something more useful. We've got um, the landscape, which is the correct um, format for exporting to YouTube nicely. Uh, and we have uh, the, the performers in their uh, portrait mode uh, nicely fitted to the grid. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now, um, maybe we want to mute the uh, backing track, so we don't want to hear that one. Um, uh, the performers have been recording with headphones, so you can mute the backing track if you like, or leave it on if you want to, up to you. Right, now what we're going to do, uh, we want to make an export and see what the volume's like. We could add any effects if we like. Say you want to add a reverb, if you've got a reverb installed, click on FX and then um, you know, different reverbs are uh, available. Um, so here's, for instance, Rhea Verb um, uh, plug in there. Uh, so we could go to add a bit of reverb to this. Okay, so that's given us a bit of reverb. Um, different reverbs are available. That one's built into Reaper. Uh, Right, okay, so that's fine. Now, if we click and drag um, in this top area here, this is going to make a time selection, which is a handy way of controlling exactly what's going to come out of Reaper uh, because we need to tell it where to start and where to stop. So if we uh, drag this in, we can navigate sideways, check where that is, maybe give enough time at the end for the reverb to kind of die out somewhat. Um, okay, so there we go. So that's now going to sound something like this. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, so let's go to File and then Render. Okay, so we've got uh, time selection. You know, you can get, um, often it says entire project as a default setting for the bounds for our render. Um, render is a fancy word for doing a mix down or creating a single file out of all of this stuff we've got in Reaper. So where it says bounds, entire project, I'm going to change that to time selection, which means we're going to use this grey bit we've created here to specify the length of the output. Um, now here, uh, the output uh, format is often WAV, that's the default for making music or whatever as an output format. Uh, we're going to select instead one of these bottom four options which give us videos. So MPEG4 MOV is going to be the one I'm choosing which works best on my system. You might find one of the others works best down there. Uh, okay, so this is uh, now going to be, we're going to click render file and see what happens. Okay, so you can see the uh, recording, uh, it's got a, a level uh, for the output which is uh, pretty decent. Um, once this is done, it's creating a single file output from all the stuff that we've put into it. And that's the reverb tail. So it's slower than real time, but that's uh, produced something sensible. We can click on Show in Finder and see what that looks like. Okay, so here's our file that we created. Yep. Okay, so suppose we want to uh, just drag in the endpoint of some of these so that we don't hear any nasty clicks at the end. That might be useful. Um, you can also make little fade outs if you need to. Just uh, if you find the right spot, you can make a fade out on one of these so it gets quieter at the end smoothly. Right, so now we've done that, uh, we want to add in uh, something uh, visual to get rid of the fact that these windows will kind of disappear one at, one at a time. Uh, so if we go to find a nice file, here's, a, here's an image file. I'm just going to drag that in and use it. Okay, so this is an image file which we can cover over the end. So in Reaper, we're going to go to Track, Insert New Track, 
uh, drag that to the very top, this new track, and drag our image into the new track. Okay, we can resize this image to be as long as we want. And what should happen is we uh, have the, the choir doing their thing, and then when it gets to the end, uh, the image turns up. And that should then go all the way uh, for a few seconds at the end. Okay, let's see what that looks like when we do the render. Uh, so let's go to File Render at the moment, and we've got Output Format as MPEG, Time Selection is selected, Render 1 File. Okay, so just fast forwarding the uh, render, which normally takes a little while. So if the level was too low here and not getting close to the top of the screen, then it would uh, be a case of moving up the um, master fader, which is on the left hand side, but this is all fine. And we can go to show and finder, have a look at that file that we've created. Okay, so this video file can be uploaded to YouTube or whatever platform you want to load it up to. Um, your virtual choir experience will be complete. Thank you very much for your attention.